Hello, my name is Tim Ginter, Representative Tim Ginter. I'm Speaker Pro Tem of the Ohio House. And more importantly, I am the joint sponsor of House Resolution 194 with Representative Reggie Stoltzfus. The inspiration for this resolution came from the story that came into the United States regarding Pastor Pulowski and the fact that he was incarcerated for speaking and preaching 20 minutes to the convoy of truckers in Canada. We recognize that Canada has the basic fundamental guarantee of rights, much as the United States in the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. And so when we saw this, we recognized as well that as Martin Luther King said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And as the friend of Canada and the Canadian people, we felt it imperative that we make a statement that we stand for liberty and freedom and that we wanted to make a statement to the Canadians, the Canadian government, that we recognize when religious freedom is being threatened and we want to stand on the side of the right and of those fighting for liberty. So we're here in Ohio. We want to send a message to you that we are your brothers and sisters. We are your compatriots, so to speak, in the fight for liberty and freedom, and we want to encourage you. My name is Dave Johnson. I'm a leader in the Republican Party here in Ohio. I've been the chairman of the uh, Columbiana County Republican Party here in, in this location uh, for the past 30 years. And I am hosting uh, the Pulowski family uh, to pay tribute to their father, um, one of the great patriots in Canada. And when I learned of his story and what had happened to him in Canada, I became so alarmed and so I'm happy to participate in this forum today. The Founding Fathers of America, you know, uh, organized in small little taverns, much like the one that we're in here today. This tavern was built in 1837, and to this day it is a place where patriots in America gather uh, to fight the battles that you're fighting in Canada. So God bless the, P the Pukowski family and uh, live on. Thank you. I am State Representative Ron Ferguson here in Ohio. I was proud to vote for the resolution and you know our country was founded July 4th of 1776. We have a document called the Declaration of Independence. It's unique from our other documents because it's the one document that doesn't apply just to Americans. It applies to all people of the world. That we have self-evident truths that all people are created equal. We are endowed with inalienable rights by our creator, the rights that you have rights that your government may oftentimes trample on, uh, but make sure that you know that we stand here ready to support you in any way that we can and um, you are in our prayers. Scott Wiggum, a state representative serving Wayne County, Ohio. Um, it's chairman of state and local government and I uh, was happy to usher this through our, our committee, uh, co-sponsor the bill and voted for the bill. Um, so for Pastor Pulaski and watching uh, what has happened to you and the people of Canada, um, first of all, it's quite alarming, but the way that you stood up for freedoms and liberties um, and, and for religion, uh, religious rights, uh, is something that has been inspiring. And it's been inspiring to uh, the Ohio House of Representatives, um, and you saw that in the passage of House Resolution 194. And so I want to uh, tell you that we will continue to pray for you and the people of Canada, because uh, as Canada goes, uh, America is not too far behind. And so we'll continue to pray and continue to work and continue to fight uh, for freedoms, uh, for the freedom of religion, uh, and for our, uh, all of our freedoms as we go forward. And we should do this together. I want to thank all of you for proposing and passing this resolution because, as you said, as if Canada goes, the America is just one step behind. So uh, it's so important to stand up for religious freedoms, for li religious liberties. Um, we all know that if religious liberty goes, every other freedom follows. So this is very important. This sends a message to Canada that what they are doing is wrong and is being watched by others around the world. So I want to thank you so much for doing this. This means a lot to um, our family and Christians and lovers of freedom in Canada. So thank you. Mm -hmm. And my husband is not here. I, I, I really would like to extend that thank you and still for those who don't know where we are could you uh, some people say oh just little ohio 
could you tell us about this this place we are here that street how important it is this is the heart of this nation right. it's not just ohio mm -hmm. and doesn't surprise me anymore that ohio stood for canada thank you well we are at the uh, historic spread eagle tavern and as i indicated this tavern uh, was built in 1837 and it was a stop on the underground railroad uh, during the, the period of time when we were trying to abolish slavery in this country and uh, many of the homes up and down the street here uh, were safe havens for uh, runaway slaves so we're uh, an area that is very um, steeped in Christian values and, um, and steeped in the traditions that um, made America what it is, which is a constitutional republic and uh, a nation that cherishes freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of religion. And what we see going on in Canada and in some circles here in America, very alarming. So this tavern is a gathering place for people like you. And uh, we welcome you here. We hope you'll come back. We hope your father will visit here someday as well. And when he does, I will name a chair after him. <laughs> there are little brass plates on chairs throughout our building uh, that, that are named for uh, patriots and for men of, uh, and women of public service, such as we have se seated at this table. So, uh, so thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to make a history. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. So much. Thank you. And God, thank bless you. God bless you. God bless you.